A bunch of Permanent damage. No, 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 no. All life is romance. I want these to pivot. Don't bring your man here. Little cozy cabin heater. Oh, oh. Guy to Palmsa. Trip of my life. I really don't know who would want to use toilet. Come on in and see what we got. a sticky note on our table and William is very unhappy about that. Furthermore, he's blaming me that I left a sticky note, which I didn't. Sticky note, permanent damage to a 25 year old table that has survived the ocean. My sticky note says problem, missing wife. Her sticky note was down on the table. Show me what was written in there. Her sticky note has GoPro equipment. Here's the evidence. <laughs> so the fact, we have no, 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 no. The fact that is it, I wrote this doesn't mean that I put it in there. Okay? The beautiful thing about this family is that if it's not documented, it doesn't exist. Exactly. One breakfast or not? <laughs> if not, then keep blaming the people who did not do anything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not proposing it to you, I'm proposing it to be You don't want ham on the eggs? No. Well, how long did it take to get out? You think you came or something? First, he doesn't allow me to put things in his egg, and then he's complaining that the things that I buy are rotting. So how am I supposed to manage all of this? If you want me to... Call your granny, and she'll tell you how to manage all of this. No! She'll tell First you. First you want me to just, <laughs> because I am in charge of food, exactly. you want me to be doing everything by myself. I am, and then I don't want him. Exactly. Well, then when it's going to be rotten, Can then... I consult with you about whether we should put one bilge pump or two bilge pumps in the bottom of the boat? Yes, no. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, you can consult with me. I said, not can I, I said, do I? <laughs> No, but you One can't. word can change the whole context. I didn't consult with you about the ham. You came here and was keep saying about that. But I'm still putting it in here. Yeah. Just like you would put the second bilge pump if yeah. I would say put one. Are eggs coming soon? Yes. Okay, you <laughs> check it. Get out of here anyway. Ah, no, it would be nice. Mm. Where did you find it? Up there where you left it with your little coffee cup. Remember? You have little trails. If I can't find something, I just look where you last were. That's the one thing about a smaller boat. I have fewer places to look. Well, we know that if you ever want to put artistic stain into lacquered tables, you know I did not do that. I did not leave those notes because I knew that they're gonna stain. She wrote off her laptop, put it on the table, took the laptop upstairs and forgot. No. And the rain came yesterday. No, no, and no. You know, the simple earth. Amazing weather today. I'm throwing away the trash, maybe. So the condo association removed the trash barrels in our marina across the street because they don't like it. And that's why we have to go every day and throw our trash in the bath stop. A bunch of dicks. It's kind of not fair, but you know, it is what it is. Marina is nice though. It's very quiet, there is a park in here. It's a nice walk.
How about a super loop? I hope you know what paint do we need. This is for you. Easy bilge. <laughs> we like easy things. the most high demand product. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Today we present you one of the best Williams jewels, Sailor Man Shop which is right behind me. And this place actually changed my mind, changed my thought process for used things. And we will show you why just in a second. Well, we have a brand new dinghy tubes and a brand new dinghy and it's not something that I want to take anywhere. Every time I get near a dock, I'm afraid of the damaging the tubes. We found this dinghy that is actually a little bit smaller. It's going to fit the boat better. It's not going to hang over as much as the other, which is a 12 and a half foot. This was stored for 10 years inside of a yacht, super yacht. It's got 10 hours on it. These are the kind of bargains you can find here when you look around because everyone in all of South Florida brings their new used and swap parts here to chuck at Sailor Man. I'm Chuck and this is Maki, our mascot. He's a 30-year-old rescue blue and gold macaw. Raised in a bar in Maine for seven years, so he has a rather robust vocabulary when he gets angry. But it's a good bird. Come on in and see what we got. You know, back in the days when I just came from Russia, I was not an advocate of um, old things because of William and how he always finds bargains and he finds old stuff and then repurposes it and also because of this particular place I started to realize a lot of times the things that are new not necessarily are better than the old ones. Oh, you're matching. Yeah, you know, we didn't think about that when we dressed this morning. Hey, welcome to Sailor Man. One of the coolest, happiest, safest, healthiest places on earth. Great variety of marine parts, both new and used. Uh, we buy, sell, and trade. We have consignment stuff, good return policy, and we ship worldwide. Besides the hard to find part, we also have all kinds of great variety of interesting things. A real authentic vintage photograph that's supposed to be John Kennedy. Ship model. Look at the size of that table. Yep. 11 foot, 6 inch table. Oh, that's, a Ooh, that's pretty. I'd approve that. Yeah. It's for protecting radar when you've got a mast and sail that can hit it, but we can put a bottom out of teak and lower it, put it on the mast, and it can be the crow's oh, nest. So we've got a place to stand with a handrail. What happens at Sailor, Sailor Man? You find something. Oh, it's on consignment. And it becomes yours. <laughs> possibly yours. I've got to look it up. So consignment here means that you can bring things, which I have bought things here, not used them, brought them back later on. Everybody that has boat parts that are new used, fantastic items. Some you don't even know what to do with, but you have to have them. Aside from having just about anything imaginable, you can see that they have booms, spreaders, they have masts all over the place, 
finding parts for sailboats or motor sailors is a little bit more difficult. We're in South Florida where they have everything, but the sailboat people, as they come and go, they don't really know about this place. the davits I took off of our boat. They weren't quite designed the way I wanted them so I brought them here have a couple offers on them I'm not in any big hurry but what I just found here is I found these babies. Oddly enough this is almost identical to what I designed three months ago. The welder still trying to get them done, excuse after excuse. Here they are finished with rollers, with the stays already, and with the exact same diameter that I designed. And that design was without the pads, without the rollers. Those I was gonna have to add myself. These were designed to slide into the back of the hull of a sailboat. And what I have designed is that I want these to pivot up and down. So all I have to do is weld a connector pipe and then put a pivot on the bottom and these will still go up and down like the design that I had. The reason for is if I'm not utilizing the dinghy, we can bring these all the way up in the air and be out of our way. And then when we bring it back down again, then we can lower and raise the dinghy at this position point. These are on consignment as well. We'll call the owner, I'll give them an offer. And uh, if they accept, we've just saved ourselves $4,000. Ooh, we approved that. You want to try lifting one of these? Sure. Or you have enough for the gym for the day. So way at this end because it's off balance. What? Way over here. I want to lift it here. Okay, don't scratch it. Yes. Uh, it's not that heavy. Okay. Um, I just spoke to the consigner. These were for bumpers. Oh, so oh yeah, fender holders. We can hit fender holders. Right. But I could put a bracket on here, mount this onto the mast, do the same teak below, and now we would have a two-station person standing. This, it's, it doesn't feel comfortable to have this border between you. You want to be able to move a little and to be close. And you know, all life is romance. All life is romance, <laughs> right? Everything you do, like you could be raking leaves, all the time you spend together, you're getting to know each other and you get, you know, how people think and how people act and what they say. So I believe all life is romance. Want to come aboard? You know what you're holding on to that. Uh, no. <laughs> it's like a steering wheel to me. That is an amazing, amazing helm station off of a sailboat. With the Ritchie compass, cable driven. Ooh, You've got your pretty. throttles here and your shift. I got in. everything under control here. So and you're gonna come aboard or not? You're gonna have or you're gonna keep problem. talking. Uh, I have one place behind me. Come, yeah, come well, on board. Nothing looks like it's gonna float here come except on. you. Hop on. We will record this. Yay! All right, off we go. <laughs> Trip of my life. Are you, are you trusting <laughs> this captain? Oh, I don't have to worry about floating. <laughs> this is something I've been looking at. It's a little heater, little cozy cabin heater. What's nice about these is it has a very small chimney. So you don't require that great big monster tube going all the way out of your boat. There's everything here. This is here. There's another part. And it looks like this is the rest of it over here. Oh, wait. No. No, this is another heater. This is another one. This one has the piece welded on. Same style, same exact model. So evidently they had two of these in their boat. And when they moved to Florida, they took them off the boat. We should just cut ours out and put this in there. Stainless steel shelves, adjustable. 
deep. Instead of buying a coal plate and trying to make ours work, complete stainless steel. This fridge might find a home today. These are the cheaper low cost ones, painted white. Still not bad, but this one. Yeah, so this has the compressor unit. William is bolt. such a treasure hunter. Bring him here and you will never get him back. Don't bring your man here. So here's the issue. This is a 24 volt system. It's why it's lower priced because almost all the boats have systems that are 12 volt. Someone looks at 24, they have to change the compressor, do all the work. My concern is that the box alone, the way it's designed, is a $3,000 box. The refrigerator we have on our boat is very small. We're looking at adding a second one. This means we could just put one on the boat and not even have to mess around fixing the old one, which a compressor and a plate for the old one is gonna cost me $1,500. And we still have an old refrigerator that is about that big for our food. When she's misbehaving, she's going up the mizzen mast, and this is where she's going to spend the night. Okay, so we have pillow talks. <laughs> <laughs> we left at 8.30 this morning, spent all day getting parts and paint and pieces so that we could spend the weekend working on the boat. With this current situation, everything's closed in the weekends. So luckily, we were able to get a few things. You have to wear masks. Everywhere. But we scored big because we found a crow's nest that is impossible to find. You have to have them customly made. Negotiated that a little. We found a pair of davits that will be slightly modified but will look correct and be four grand less than our budgeted number that came back. So you're going to basically tell the welding guy to pound sand. That's basically what he's going to get. I like that because the guy took literally six months to do something that was supposed to be done and didn't. He did just 30% of the work and disappeared. So, uh, Dinghy, that's uh, definitely now we can sell the dinghy we have and uh, have one that's fitting correctly to the boat. Uh, had a good day. I had a good day too. <laughs> and I've got a bunch of dirt in my eyes and I can't rub my eyes because knowing that you can't touch your eyes, your face, your mouth. You can't um, touch your wife with dirty hands. <laughs> with dirty hands. Oh. Good thing about our wife is... <laughs> <laughs> she likes dirty people? Mm -hmm. Well, she's dirty by herself. She likes dirty hands. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a good Time to, to say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Ow! Mm.